Hey y'all, it's Kika, your lifestyle blogger. And if keeping a clean house has been holding you back from getting a pet, I am here today to talk to you about all of the design things that you can do to have the pet that you love in your home. So keep watching more video footage coming right up. All right, y'all, I'm about to introduce a new pet to my home, but I want to talk about all the things that got me to this point. But I first want to take a trip down memory lane and talk to you a little bit about um, just kind of the animals that I had in my household growing up. You know, of course, I've always had a cat, a dog. That was always important to my mom. But she was also an aquatic lover. And what I mean by that is she loved fish. She particularly liked angelfish because these come in a variety of colors. They were translucent and she really loved the look of those. My mom was a decorator. So just like I am, I inherited that from her. And so she really loved to be able to decorate the fish tanks. And that is exactly what she did is really made each and every one of her fish tanks very interesting and enjoyable. And she put a lot of love into them. And so to honor my mom, I've always talked about starting a fish tank, but I am not very good with fish at all. So I decided not to do the fish, but because my pet Minnie died um, back in July, I've had an empty void that I need to fill. And so I wanted to hurry up on this thing sooner rather than later. And so I am in the process of preparing my home for this new pet. Now, instead of a fish tank, we have something similar. It's a terrarium and I have to design it and do all of that stuff. So I've been taking my time and doing that and really, really excited about what's to come. I don't want to give it away and tell you guys because that's going to be in my next video. But if you were on my social media channels and you have been guessing, some of you are correct um, as far as your guess goes. But if you have not been guessing, go ahead and watch this video and see if you can make a, a guess on what I am about to bring into my home. And it's very, very exciting for me and for everyone especially for my grandchildren. When they come over, they'll have something to do, something to see, something to feed, and that's gonna be good. So I'm gonna stop there because I don't wanna give you any more hints. And we're gonna talk a little bit about something else. So keep watching, more video footage coming up. Okay, so let's talk about this aquatic animal that my mom really liked. So I told you about the goldfish, but in addition to that, she liked this animal called a newt. And it was a lizard, an underwater lizard as she thought. But one day we went out and about, we came back home and we found the lizard dried up on the steps. And this was horrifying to me. So I never really liked that animal because of that experience. And I was, I have to say I was about 12, 13 when that happened. But I think back then, you know, they didn't have the internet, they didn't have cell phones, they didn't have ways to look up on how to care for these animals. They didn't have YouTube. So my mom didn't know. So she thought it was an underwater animal when truthfully it was an amphibian that needed kind of both it needed water and it needed to be able to go on shore so what we think has happened because this animal was very smart it got out of the fish tank and could not find its way back and that's what happened and so it couldn't get back in time got stuck on the steps and dried on the steps we had carpet on our steps so that was horrifying but that steered me away from that type of animal so definitely that's not an animal that i'm going to be getting Okay, are you guys familiar with finger monkeys? These are really cute monkeys that's only the size of your fingertip. And they can habitat in your home as a pet, in a terrarium. So that is one of the things that people are getting now because it's trending and they really like them a lot. What about snakes? Hmm. I know some people who really like snakes. Now, I'm not really a snake fan, but these are also pets that you can have in your home that live in a terrarium, which come in all types of colors, breeds, and just different things like that. Now, you, I'm not a snakeologist, so you would have to do your homework to see which one is the best fit for you, because as I understand it, different snakes varies to different owners' personalities. So make sure you take a look at that and see if that is something that you would like, but absolutely no, that will not be going in my terrarium.
talk about this terrain now that I have put together. So I wanted it to be more of a jungle, Jurassic Park type theme. Not to give anything away, but I really, it really resonated with me for my home. And just to be an actual focal point for my home is really nice. So that's what we're gonna really talk about today. The focal point of your home and how you can bring an animal into your home and really make it be a part of your design scheme. So a lot of people think that when you bring animals into your home, these are usually people that don't keep a very nice home. And that's an, a not true myth, just let me tell you. People do have beautiful homes and they are able to introduce animals into their home and really make it work. Now, if you watch some earlier videos that I did when I redesigned my dog kennel to make it like a picture table, you can do those things. And a lot of people are gearing towards making a design piece into stuff that is also functional for their pets, as you can see in the pictures that I am showing you here. And so I never knew that there was an actual thing for cats. And I am excited um, to be able to create this for my cat. So that's something next that I'm gonna do because my cat likes to get outside and I wanna make sure that my cat is safe. Now, for the most part, my cat does stay in the backyard, but I still wanna make sure that he's safe if he tends to get out. So I wanna create this cat deck for my cat so that way it will have a nice little porch that it can lounge out on and it'll be something that's a space that's all his just like how i had for my dogs and now if you're a fish lover there is a way and we've always known this for years that the aquarium is beautiful in a living room space as you can see from the pictures that i'm showing you so people that have an aquarium they can make it so exotic and so beautiful and it can be a part of their interior design theme so you can do that actually for any animal that you choose all right guys so here are some enclosure spaces for pets that you can incorporate in your home and this is really unique because it really steps up your interior design space without taking away from it just because you have a pet so if you're really looking to make your pet's home really classy these are the enclosure spaces that I would recommend because again, it really steps things up and makes your space beautiful. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. And for those of you that are not pet lovers, but you're thinking about it, I hope that this video provided you with some encouragement to go ahead and move forward and do so. There are some beautiful enclosure spaces that you can do inside your home to make sure that your pet safe as well as providing a design aesthetic to your home that is absolutely beautiful so that is what this video was all about my next video is where i will be revealing the next pet that i am bringing into my home so make sure that you watch that video and if you're not a subscriber to my channel please do so by hitting that subscribe button that way you get notification every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.